SB here, and today it's time to look at the card mechanic Escalation. Escalation is a unique mechanic to the game Hex, which is a TCG currently in the alpha phase. Obviously, because the game is in alpha, there will be some UI improvements as well as art advancements that will continue, so be sure to keep that in mind. So Escalation states that as the action resolves, you shuffle the card into your deck, then you double the bold number in the text of each card you own with the same name in all zones. So, for example, with Ragefire, the first time you cast it, it does 2 damage. The second time that it comes around, it'll do 4, then 8, then 16, all for the same resource cost of 2. So, in addition, this deck also has Eternal Youth, which initially gains 5 health, and then will double to 10, 20, 40, etc. And then it also has Cerebral Fulmination. Cerebral Fulmination makes both champions draw a card, or an additional card, at the start of their draw phase. And the good thing about Cerebral Fulmination in an Escalation deck is, even though my opponent is drawing cards, because my card draw improves with Escalation as the numbers double, so my draws should be better as time goes on. Now that the deck's ready, let's go ahead and take it for a spin. Okay. Excellent. That's a great hand. Let's keep it. So we've got enough resources for a rage fire. Uh, we're we don't have a, a second diamond for eternal youth, but that's fine. We can wait for that. Uh, definitely going to be looking forward to uh, popping this rage fire early. Okay, excellent. So we'll drop down that ruby resource and see what he's got in turn two. Thunderbird, likely. Nothing. Okay, well, that makes it a little bit easier on my side. Obviously, even if he had a Thunderbird, then I'd just Rage Fire it. So, um, no real loss there. Because he doesn't have anything, I am going to, uh, you can tell here, first one does two damage. So, I am going to use that on him, because he hasn't um, pulled anything out. Perfect. So he's down to 18, and my next one will do 4 damage. And let's see what he's got. Draw, and 3, and there we go. So we've got a Phoenix Guard Trainer, uh, which gives everything flight. I'm not really concerned about that, because I can always um, you know, burn it if I wanted. Um, Heat Wave would do it as well. Okay, and another resource. So, I'm just going to sit tight, to be honest. I don't really need to do anything. I don't mind him doing 3 damage to me early because I've got an Eternal Youth. So we'll see what he's got. Four resources for an Oracle Song. Okay, so he's ramping up pretty well. We'll see how this deck can deal with it. That's fine. Um, I'll likely Eternal Youth next turn if I don't get anything better. Uh, but I do have I have tons of options. So like you know, pulling a burn would be great. Secret Laboratory. Okay. So I don't need to Eternal Youth yet. I would much rather get my card draw set up. So we're going to do that, and then obviously on his end phase is when I'll be drawing my card and likely discarding a ruby. A ruby shard. Okay, so now he's got five. Tax me for three, that's okay. Okay, and a Thunderbird. Okay, one Thunderbird. And now at his aim end phase, I will draw a card and discard a card. Perfect, look at that. Heat wave. Um, and I will likely heat wave this turn. Okay, so we draw my card, I get another Eternal Youth. Wow, okay, so I can definitely wait out. I can I can wait this out, uh, because if he plays, say, like another Thunderbird, then saving that will be great. So even though it, it is an alpha bug, even though this one still says gain 5 health, uh, this one will gain me 10 health when I play it. Um, so now I'll pass. I'm, I don't need to enter conflict either of his troops. I don't need to heat wave yet. Um, I am perfectly fine just sort of sitting tight and uh, continuing to draw cards, healing up. 
he's already going to have some difficulty. And we'll just wait for one more to see what else he plays. Down to 14. And a Cloud Titan. Okay. So then what I can do is I can Heat Wave and then burn to the ground. And phase is where I will draw a card and discard a card. Or I could just enter conflict it. Excellent. My second Rage Fire means that I will... I will be ditching my burn to the ground. Because I want to keep an inner conflict, but... Let's see. I want to keep an inner conflict, just in case. But at this point, my Rage Fire now will do four. So that's easy, easily enough to um, take out his Cloud Titan. So let's see what I get. Turret wall. Everything's flying, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I will... Rage Fire. Do four to that. And then we will Heat Wave. I think we've waited long enough. He's only got two cards in hand. Um, and I've got a burn if he comes out with something singularly. Uh, something singular, like a, like a Thunderbird. And then I'll pass, and pass, and pass. And then on his turn again, I'll Secret Laboratory and either take off uh, probably my Turreted Wall, because if he doesn't ha if he doesn't have anything... Okay, Ancestor's Chosen. That's a good one. And obviously shows that... Okay, so he was waiting for a Heat Wave. It's fine, I've got more in my deck. It's his end turn, so I will draw a card and discard a card. I do not need another resource. So I'll discard that one out. Okay. And I get a burn. Okay, perfect. Well, because I I don't want to have to deal with uh, this cleric. I don't mind taking two damage a turn because now this is going to heal me for ten and I could always inner conflict it. Um, so I am... I'm going to use this first. I'll use my secret laboratory. Okay, so I'll take that off. If that was like another burn, then I would have uh, discarded my turreted wall. So I'll just discard that burn. And then I'm going to... Um, I don't want him to get more to start stacking his deck with flyers. So we'll just burn that off. And I'll take this two damage. Um, I'll go ahead and use my Eternal Youth now. And as you can see here, it did heal 10. So like I said, just an alpha bug that showed that it was still at 5, but it does it does uh, escalate cards that are in, in your hand. So if you pull two cards that escalate, use one, the second one will get that benefit. Okay, 24. Fine with that. Obviously, I've got an, I've got other heat waves in deck, so this isn't scary. Eventually, I'll be able to deal with it. And he's got no cards in his hand. He's played everything he's got. And I get a Cerebral Fulmination. This is actually a good time to do a, cer a Cerebral Fulmination. Uh, yes, it starts filling up his hand, but because now I've, I've already used two Eternal Youths and two um, Rage Fires, uh, mine are going to start to get very scary very fast. So I don't need to enter conflict it. Um, I also don't need to use my laboratory now because likely I, I wouldn't necessarily draw something that's useful. So I'll just pass that off. Okay. So he's discarding that. Oh, he turned it into a Dingler, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit of a, a little bit of a bug again. Please uh, forgive the AI for its ridiculousness. Um, it looks like it still did its two damage to me, so maybe there's a, a bug with the Dingler. Uh, obviously, we'll just draw this card and uh, and let bygones be bygones. Um, I do not need another secret laboratory because I've already got one. And I've got a Cerebral Fulmination. I, I, I would need to wait until more cards built up. And I've got more Secret Laboratories in my deck. Okay, great. Another Eternal Youth. So you can see here now, now I'm getting 20 health. So it's starting to get um, absolutely ridiculous. And now I can... Let's go ahead and uh, play out 
my turret wall, and I will charge that up so it's a 1-6. Pass priority, I'll save this for um, my opponent's turn. And so even if this was still a 2-2, like I said, it, it, it wouldn't matter because I could have burned it. You know, so at, at this point, because I'm healing 20 and, and going to burn it, or could have burned it, there is there's nothing that I really fear. Okay. Wizard of the Talon. That's fine. It's a 2 and a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Second main phase, and on his end phase, I will again draw and discard a guard dog. Um, I don't really need the guard dog, because the guard dog is for early game blocking. Yes, it will trade with this, but I don't really care, because my goal is now to heal for 20, and then start pulling my rage fires. Yep, and obviously the turret wall is also just dealing one damage passively, as time goes on. So another Eternal Youth, and another Rage Fire. Okay, so ridiculous. Here we go. Heal for 20. So now it's now I'm at 42, and we will now do 8 damage to my opponent, because there is nothing that he could play that scares me. Because this one is going to heal for 40 health. Pass, pass, whatever. You, you Feel free to do whatever you want on your turn. Um, so even if this had been, a, like I said, even if you hadn't made some of these mistakes, uh, the deck has a lot of built-in sturdiness. That's fine. I'm, I could just interconflict it. And even if it plays, obviously, like this, even if it plays something that, that could possibly get a bit worrisome, uh, you've got interconflict. So, oh no, I'm only down to 39. Uh, yes, that does beef up his uh, the mage, but that's fine. Confirm and draw on these cards. Do that one point of damage. Okay, another secret laboratory, and I draw a diamond resource. So because I could finish by pulling another res another rage fire, we will secret laboratory. I'll destroy my. Um, I'll destroy the guard dog. I don't. Again, I don't really care at this point. Um, I will play another resource. I will enter conflict. Oh, it's got spell shield. Okay, so I will enter conflict um, his his mage. So even if it keeps beefing up, it won't matter. Um, and um, and then I'll play out my second secret laboratory. So next turn I'll have a nice big uh, hit. This was one of the new cards, the Storm Colossus. One of the new cards that was revealed um, with uh, the Hex Alpha. So wasn't too familiar with it, but that's fine. Again, even six damage doesn't matter because I've got a pocket f gain 40 health for three resources. So, and then I've got uh, two of my secret laboratories out, so next turn I'll be able to just try to fish for more of my escalation cards. I take seven. Normally that would be an exceptionally scary swing, but for me, I don't care. And now let's see how my card draw goes. Okay. So pull another guard dog. Boy, they just really want to give me guard dogs. Okay, so now I will draw a card and discard. I get another inner, inner conflict, which is basically worthless. Boy, at this point I could have started using my guard dogs to deal damage. And a heat wave. Okay. And I will discard a turreted wall. Okay, and then we will we'll heat wave just to, to wipe off some of that board. And uh, then let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, pass the turn over. Okay, so he gets to draw multiple cards. 
and he's been making use of all of his cards every turn, so... Yep, plus one, plus one for everything flying, so this is a 7-7 seven, seven now. That's okay. Yep. Puts it back in my hand, it's fine. And it's important to note that, um, obviously, see here that the cost has now permanently changed, uh, but the plus one, plus one that I gave it before does not go away. That's another fantastic um, part about Hex. Okay, so let's see what we draw on this. We get our Cerebral Fulmination and two secret laboratories. Get a burn. Let's lab up. And there's a Rage Fire. So now I no longer need an Inner Conflict. So my Rage Fire now does 16 damage, and my Eternal Youth, I know this says 20, but it's going to heal for it's going to heal for 40, so let's do both and finish off this game. So Eternal Youth from 25 to 65 health. Ridiculous. 3 cost, 40 health. And then we will Rage Fire for the win. 16 damage. And the next one would have done 32, and the next um, Eternal Youth would have healed me for 80. So unbelievable. So as you can tell, Escalation is an exceptionally powerful ability. All you need is some early game stall, and by the time your opponent can actually start producing massive threats, you can be either healing an insane amount of health to the point where you're untouchable, or dealing a crazy amount of damage. Uh, there's also Escalation that makes your opponent discard cards. Uh, that's something where you could deck them very quickly. Uh, but Escalation is one of those unique mechanics to Hex, which is really interesting and it's going to be really fun to build decks around, especially once we get the full card list. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please take the time to subscribe. As always, I'm MSB, wishing you good games and good times.